Hi guys. So, um, once again, I am trying to cover up the sound of my computer. Uh, this time with some spaceship noises. And that is because I am going to talk to you a little bit today about something that I discovered that merges two very geeky interests of mine into something beautiful, and that is Shakespeare and Star Wars. Now, um, the writer, Ian Doisher, um, I think that's his name, uh, wrote, or adapted Star Wars in a Shakespearean style. He, um, first wrote, is it Star Wars, Verily a New Hope, and then, um, as of March, the second book has come out, which is The Empire Striketh Back, and the third one, uh, The Jedi Doth Return, will be coming out in July, um, and I found a couple of excerpts that I thought might be fun to read, so there you go. Um, the first excerpt is from uh, the scrolling, and if I'm sort of looking over the camera awkwardly, that's because that's where I have it. I have the article pulled up on my computer. So this is um, the, of course, famous scrolling in the intro that usually starts with a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Chorus. It is a period of civil war, the spaceships of the rebels striking swift from base unseen have gained a victory o'er the cruel galactic empire now adrift. Amidst the battle, rebel spies prevailed and stole the plans to a space station vast, whose powerful beams will later be unveiled and crush a planet, tis the Death Star blast. Pursued by agents sinister and cold, now Princess Leia to her home doth flee, delivering plans and a new hope they hold of bringing freedom to the galaxy. In a time, in time so long ago begins our play, in star-crossed galaxy far, far away. <laughs> it's oddly haunting. I can't tell if it, that's because of the way that it's written in the Shakespeare format that at least I know and love so well. Um, or that bit at the end, in time so long ago begins our play, in star-crossed galaxy far, far away. I, I, I love that bit. Um, and then they have also included, let's see, a bit of banter between C-3PO and R2-D2, which... I love C-3PO. He is one of my favorite characters. I know everyone always goes for Luke and Leia and Han, but the background characters are wonderful in Star Wars as well, not just the main trio. Uh, so there we go. C-3PO. Pray, R2-D2, where art thou? R2-D2. C-3PO. At last, where hast thou been? I fear they come in this direction. Pray, what shall we do? My circuitry o'erloads, my mind's o'erthrown, and fear hath put its grip into my wires. We shall be sent unto that place I dread, the castle spice mines, whence no droid returns, and there be blasted into who knows what. Anon, anon, R2, where dost thou go? O oh, prithee, patience, leave me not alone. Aside, I, even though I mock and injure thee, 
I'll surely die if e'er thou leavest me. Which C3PO and R2D2, greatest bromance of all time. I don't know if you'd really call it a bromance between two robots, but it's it's very bromancy at times. <laughs> Vader, only thou couldst be so bold. When first my ship was under siege, I knew twas thee who had this peaceful vessel sacked. The Imperial Senate shall not stand for this. For when they hear thou hast attacked a ship on diplomatic mission, then Vader interrupts, Highness, peace, be thou not so surprised. For well thou knowst a mercy mission this was not this time. Thine innocent appearance doth disguise a heart with revolution at its core. Aye, several transmissions were there beamed unto this ship by rebel spies. I want to know what happened to the plans they sent, and prithee speak thou well, or speak thy last, for fairer next than thine my hand hath crushed. Leia, thine idle threat is meaningless to me, my neck, my tongue, my mouth, instruments oh, it gets cut off there let me see if I can yeah I can't find the rest of it oh darn that was such a good excerpt too I I think though I, I do really like the for fairer necks than mine than thine my hand hath crushed I think these, that is probably my favorite line, but, um, yeah, those are a few excerpts from the Shakespeare's rendition of Star Wars, um, <laughs> I know it's a little bit strange, but the moment I saw this, I knew that this is what I had to do for my excerpt for Geek Month. Um, for one of the excerpts, I guess, since I did Harry Potter earlier this month. But, um, yeah, there you go. I have not actually read the full books themselves, so I can't really say much regarding that. But from these excerpts, I can tell that it is really well done. inclined to check it out, so let me know if any of you have read it, or if you would read it, or if you've heard anything else about it. And, um, yeah, that'll, that'll be it for today. I will try and include the link to the sound generator that I use in this video below. I'm not sure exactly if it'll work, because uh, the current sound generator that I'm using is um, the spaceship one, which on the website, the noise generator website, there are certain um, adjustable sounds that you can only listen to or play with if you have donated money. And I donated money to this website so that I could use more of these sounds for you guys' videos. I will leave a link below, but I don't know if it will work for people who haven't paid the website. Um, it would be great if you could, but otherwise, you have this going on in the background of this video. So, there you go. Um, I'll leave that it for today. We only have a couple more videos left in, for Geek Month, which is kind of surprising because I have so many geeky ideas, but let me know what you guys think of Geek Month overall, if I should maybe make an annual thing or something. I don't know. Anyway, 
see you guys next time.